Hello and welcome. We're going to start with a super simple project. It's a coloring book project inside of Photoshop. Essentially, we're going to be um, changing our color modes using our paint bucket tool, a magic wand if we need to, our deselection, which is a, a command or control D depending on your computer. Um, and we're also going to um, troubleshoot a little bit because what if it doesn't pick up the correct areas? So the first things first, I've opened up Photoshop. Then I'm going to go ahead and file to open. And I have saved and provided an example coloring page. Feel free to use that page or find your own. It's very easy to do a Google image search for coloring page. And this is a pretty small image, so I'm going to go ahead and um, go to my magnifying glass and zoom in a little bit so you can see. First things first, I need to make sure of my color mode. And um, some of these, obviously, these images are in black and white, so a lot of times they will be in that grayscale mode. So I'm going to go up to image, down to mode, and making sure I'm on CMYK or RGB. Because I'm working on mine for digital, I'll go ahead and stay in that RGB. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this. The most simple way is to go down to your color picker, choose a color, and then go to your paint bucket tool. Your paint bucket tool sometimes is underneath your gradient tool. So you'll click and hold, and then select your paint bucket tool. And then it's as easy as a click. Click, 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 click. I'm just selecting those areas that I would like to paint. And this works because of the lines are closed. Okay, so the, the Photoshop knows intuitively that you want to paint within those lines. I can also go to one of my selection tools, such as my quick selection tool or my magic wand tool. And let's say, for example, I want to start selecting those lines. So I would go to my magic wand tool, hit my select. I'm going to go ahead and change a color to a blue. Now I would go to my paint bucket, and I can, sim I can simply click and paint. I can command D to deselect that, and I can move forward. Now, what's also great is that you can use your selection area. So for example, I'm going to a magic wand tool, and let's say I'm going to go to this outward um, frame. Then I can even go to my brush tool. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a green just so you guys can see. I'm going to go to my brush and I'm going to use the bracket on the keyboard, um, which is right above the return key so I can bracket right to increase my brush size. And look what happens. I can brush but it will not go anywhere outside of that, of that selection area. So here's where I can do an ombre effect. Go a little lighter. And go bracket up just so it's a, little, it's a little easier to see. Okay, I'm gonna keep going a little lighter. And again, it's not going to go anywhere that I am not inside that selection. And then finally, just the faintest of greens. And so I have a nice ombre color. Now I can Command D or Control D to deselect, and then I can start that again. So um, what I did simply was, Opening up an image, making sure I'm in an RGB CMYK mode, I went to my paint bucket tool, which is underneath my gradient tool. I went to my color picker, changed whatever color I wanted, and then I simply did a click, and it will read that. Now, if your lines are not connected, meaning that there's a break in between the lines, you might have to go to your paintbrush tool and actually paint a line that connects them, and then you're able to do that intuitive fill. Um, there's another YouTube video that shows you how to do that. But this will get you on your way to starting to um, do your own.